Howdy everybody and welcome back to our Game Maker Studio Fundamentals. And we are going to be talking about a couple of special variable types today. So let's get started on that. Let's get cracking. First one is macros. So if we want to create a macro, we need to write in the line pound macro. Then give it a name such as sec. And then last but not least, give it a value such as game underscore get speed game speed underscore FPS. And very importantly, do not end this line with a semicolon like you would normally do because macros are kind of a shorthand word. So every time in our game it sees the word sick from now on that will be the same as having written this and we don't want to end our we want to add our semicolons when we write the word sick rather than uh, when we rather than here otherwise it can cause issues with the way the macros are set up and macros all go on their own lines so uh, test don't need the semicolons just uh, make sure that you put a macro in front of the line whenever you create one and I find this one to actually be a fairly useful macro because there'll be times later on where you want to set your uh, alarm or whatever for a, an event so if you have an alarm alarm zero you want to set it for a half a second so rather than having to say game underscore get underscore speed game speed FPS then all you would have to do is say sec times 0 0.5 and now your alarm is set for a half second. Our second special number type, our second special uh, variable type will be enums. Enum. So an enum, again kind of similar to the macros, how you would say pound macro, you would start enum. They can give it a name such as uh, tests. And unlike macros at this point, you would actually put a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here to close it. And you would give it values. So give it one, two, and three. So you put a comma after each one of these values except for the last one so that it knows where it goes. And we could actually assign values to these, so this would actually be 1, and give this one the value of that, and you get the value of 2, because we want to be really confusing. <laughs> so if we wanted to do that, we could give each one of these a specific value, and then later on we could say test.1, so we could say uh, num underscore is equal to test.1, would give us would set the value to 1. And then we could also just leave these things alone and they would automatically increment from 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Yeah. And you could always open the HEP file to get more information about it yourself. You can open the uh, help file by middle clicking your mouse on pretty much anything that has the capability to do that. So built-in functions, so on and so forth. Anyways, now that we have that available, you'll be able to use these later on in the game whenever you need them. So you remember, you always have to declare the things before they're used. So we can now use these things over here as long as we have created this after we created this. So thank you everybody for watching and good luck with your coding.